Hey guys, welcome back to 11 Cups. Today we are doing a slightly different video. Uh, actually, I actually had this idea for a very long time, I just haven't really got around to it. Uh, this video is kind of... Uh, dangerous, do you think? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's gonna be dangerous. But we'll see. Anyways, the point is, today we have... Alright, so like I was saying, we have actually 26 different type of can or, well, slash bottles. Yeah, we're counting. 26. <laughs> so we have 26 different uh, Japanese coffee drinks. The reason why I wanted to do this for the longest time is because during my high school days, I wasn't that much into coffee, but as mm. with all teenagers, I was very much into sugary drinks. Uh -huh. And at the time, I had a lot of Japanese friends, and we often went to Japanese Mart, and I mm -hmm. was very, very amazed by the variety of coffee or, or tea drinks that I had. You know, for example, like Boss in particular, right? Like This was super, super popular. Uh, there was a lot of commercial with a lot of famous uh, pop popular celebrities in mm -hmm. Japan that did a lot of the commercials for Boss. And so therefore, recently when I found a store with almost like all the varieties that I've seen before, mm -hmm. uh, I figured we should, you know, sit down and really just try all of them out. Give them a try. <laughs> yeah, so now that we actually drink quote unquote legit coffee, like real coffee, yes. to see if these are still as good as I remembered. Mm -hmm. And I figured you, you guys probably you know, wouldn't really go out and buy all of these drinks and plus this is just way too much sugar for myself alone. Yeah. <laughs> so I figured, uh, you know, you guys would join us and yep. uh, we can try these out. We have little tokens to figure to make it a bit more fun. If there are any coffees here that, any drinks here that you think you, you think is really good in particular, mm -hmm. uh, we can, you know, assign them a little token of our own. Oh, and you can kind of change it along good. the way. So this way, you know, this for you guys at home that's watching, maybe if you're traveling around, if you happen to come across a Japanese market and you just feel like having coffee or something sweet, hopefully we can have like a pretty good recommendation for awesome. you guys. And maybe we'll, we'll have the a good. turban, the best one. Yeah, <laughs> sure, quote, quote, the best one. Again, nothing scientific, but let's uh, get sugar out of our mind. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So like I said in the beginning, uh, Boss Coffee is actually one of the more commonly found uh, canned coffees in Japan. Mm -hmm. And depending on the city that you guys are from, you might be able to see these in the market. So I figured let's start with these. Just to clarify, we will not be dumping these out. We will try our best to finish these drinks. And hopefully at the end, we won't be too too sugared out of our minds. And Even hopefully though... we'll, you'll see more videos yeah, hopefully. from us. <laughs> Anyways, all right, cool. So uh, let's start with this. Uh, okay. So first of all, this is called a rainbow mountain blend. I have no idea can. what these are. Just so we all know, uh, a lot of times these coffees are a little bit lighter tasting. Okay. Uh, based on my memory, if this, if it serves me right, a lot of these taste actually very um, light and watery. Mm -hmm. okay. And a lot of them end up tasting the same after a while. But mm -hmm. however, I never had like 16 at the same time, right? Like 26 at the same time. So let's, so let's see. Uh, we're just gonna have a little bit. Don't try this at home. Yeah, yeah, maybe don't. Maybe don't try these at home, please. Okay, okay. so this is the um, Balls Rainbow Blend. I think just regular coffee with milk, but just a rainbow mountain blend, whatever that is. Oh, you can't really smell the coffee. Color. Yeah, wow. I mean, the aroma is usually good, mm -hmm. right? So usually you can smell the aroma, but it's probably chemical. <laughs> it's like we just roasted fresh beans. It's fascinating. That's not bad. Oh yeah, this is not bad. So this is actually, I think this one, they try to have a bit more kick to it, uh -huh. right? You do have a bit more of that bitter aftertaste. It's good. You can see it, but the color too, it's quite dark, so there's not too much yeah. milk in it. But if you notice, like immediately afterwards, it, it gets watery. Mm -hmm. There's no lingering taste, it's just, yep. you're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on, so we don't be, we're not here forever. This is supposed to be a dark roast uh, black coffee. Uh, it's supposed to have a very clean taste, dark, no sugar, and clean taste. That's basically what I said. Reading Japanese? I mean, I understand a little bit kanji. They, they do sh we do share some cultures in terms of uh, language. Oh yeah, oh, this is actually oh. just black coffee. I mean, so this you, is you, quite... would, you would really expect this to be black coffee. Yeah, because it's, it's not says, black. Because <laughs> it's black. Huge letters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while well, this is very clear, so I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but you know, this is, yeah, like I said, it's very watery. It's almost like Coke. It's lighter than Coke. This one doesn't smell as strong as the other one though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm. right? It's like watery. Like water. watery. Water. It's, yeah. like, it's like a light. It's like black a so if you expect bitter black, water. Yeah, if you if you expect black coffee with bold, strong, like real bold, bold and strong taste, uh, this probably wouldn't satisfy your craving. I would probably stick with one of the milk ones. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So let's put that aside. There is one that I remember I see here that it did mention that they use Premium. stronger. Oh yeah, here. Look. 
All right, so this is called Premium Boss. This is supposed to be like the highest quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, higher quality. They're supposed to use 1.2 times more beans and then two. I don't know, like two times finer grind. Most premium dark rose beans in the history of the drink. All right, let's see. So this is the super premium one. I mean, if it's really okay. fine, then yeah. it's going to take a very long time to extract. Yeah. It's so you're gonna get a lot of... Okay, so this is, oh, this is actually not black. This is actually with milk. Oh. oh. But it should probably, I would expect this to taste stronger than the first one that we tried. Hopefully. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Smells well, not that strong as the first one. Mm, this it's is sweeter. It's more less watery. It's more potent, mm. right? It's more. Can get some more. More body. Really? Yeah. I don't. We have really. I don't, I was, let's hold off. Okay, let's hold off. Okay, now. Okay, so it looks like Diana might like this one. So let's <laughs> set this one aside. If we, if you like more, let's come back to it later because we <laughs> yeah. have so much to get through. Okay. Uh, overly sugared and overly caffeinated. As you can see, we already uh, jittery a bit, so. <laughs> Okay, so our future looks um, good. Next one, we have a Blue Impact. Ooh. Blue Impact, Ooh. Boss Blue Impact. Again, low on sugar. Uh, supposed to have a bit more, it's a stronger uh, mm. and more bitter. Okay. Mm. That's, the, that's what it says. So after, you know, the, the premium black, the premium Boss, let's uh, see how this one's like. I think I'm gonna reduce the amount I pour for everyone. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, sure. I don't know if we can make it through 26 I bottles of this it. stuff. I can't really taste it. Okay. Cheers. Oh yeah, this is much more bitter. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. No, this is more bitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is definitely, I mean, it, it almost feels like it's um, it's forced. It's still not stronger. Like, none of these are really stronger. Uh, I think the premium one does have a bit richer of a taste. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. one is just more bitter. Yeah, the, the premium has more body. That's why I think. I, I oh think yeah, I, I think, yeah. I'm that, lacking that, that's it. Good. I'm lacking that one too, a bit yeah. more. Okay, so these three, we're okay. Actually, the rainbow pen wasn't too bad. The rainbow's not but bad. But you can yeah, really taste, this one has a lot less sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though they kind of, that's true. This one actually doesn't say less sugar. Yeah, that one's that's true. true. Okay, next, uh, let's go with, next. What, what is this called? Next. <laughs> this is called Zaytaku Pito. Yeah, it's premium beans. Picture. It does have milk in it and it's supposed to have very little sugar. Okay. There's li little sugar and there's very little sugar. Like bito, like bitter? I think so. Mm. Okay, if you guys well. are Japanese, you can let me know. If, if, if bito. <laughs> We're just I know, guessing. I mean, like, zaitaku, I think it should be, it means like, up, like something like absolute. I'm gonna guess oh, on okay. that. Fortunately, none of my Japanese friends are here, but... Or luckily. <laughs> they would not be liking your pronunciation. I don't know. <laughs> I'm butchering the Japanese language. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Mm, nice aroma. Oh, this is a different type of bitter bitters. I'm a little surprised to see how many variations of low sugar they can have. Yeah. Hmm. This one actually has slightly more sugar than the, the previous. Um, than the previous one we just tried. I like this one more than the blue. You do like that one? This I, one? No, premium is still good. <laughs> premium is still good. Okay, so no, like so I think compared with the previous one that we just had. Yeah. The... And just to be clear, I think when we say like when it's richer and more full body, we're still talking about like there's no lingering like flavor no. right it's just no. it's still a little bit watery towards mm -hmm. the end yeah uh, but just like that first hit right it's almost like um it's, like, it's almost like buying i guess like a, a iced tea or something mm -hmm. right because you don't you don't expect iced tea to taste like tea if you really like tea but it's when you really want that sugary drink right i guess oh you know what i mean so if you put it in that kind of sense then these are more bitter than your average mm -hmm. kind of right really extract right so like let's say you talk about like a I don't know, like a Dunkin' Donut, I don't know, like caramel latte or something, uh -huh. right? Or Nestle still makes those uh, like canned drinks. But I mean, just, I'm just saying like for, uh, as compared to those, these are slightly more bitter. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. Okay. Should we do a bad cleanser maybe? Some water? Can do it. Sure. Yeah. Let's add some water. Right back to it. Nice. Next, we have Golden Time. Mm. So Golden Time is supposed to be, again, they use the highest quality bean, dark roast. Mm. Right. I really like that packaging. You do? It's and like I like, the, a like the movie theater. The Cheers. Hang in there, guys. This is only seven cups through. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Mm. It's sweeter. Because mm. it doesn't say less sugar. Yeah, there is a certain... Yeah. Just like the premium boss that does not say less sugar. Yeah, but okay. So I think this is slightly lighter yes. than the premium like Correct. premium boss. Oh, um, because premium has, what, tw twice more... Oh, that's true. It's got more beans, beans supposedly. Mm -hmm. But that's good. Yeah. Good. So this is not bad. I'm, I'm gonna leave this like here. Right? Yes. Let's just say it mm -hmm. might be like a runner-up potential. Next we have uh, Mediterranean. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, this is actually Medi Mediterranean iced coffee. Mm -hmm. Chikukai. I know that means I know that that means Mediterranean. So. <laughs> it's just, okay. 
I'm I sure. Should, I, I'm sure. You. I'm sure of that. It, it means Mediterranean. All right. Does so this support. I was expecting like black coffee. Yeah. But yeah, it does have milk. Mm. I figure like iced coffee, like especially based on the packaging. You know what I mean? It looks like it's right. It looks like it's just black coffee, but mm. it's not. Okay. All right, Mediterranean. I mean, I don't know. I, I, is Mediterranean known for coffee? Shots. Oh. I it's would say pretty much. Aroma. Not necessarily bitters. Well, for me, it is. No, it's like a sweet tasting aroma. You know what I mean? It's, it's mm. just got like this coffee flavor. I, you know, I'm not a huge fan. I think it's quite balanced because some like you, these you ones seem seem a little too sweet. Uh huh. But this one is not too sweet. It's not too bitter. It's kind of bland. <laughs> that, that's because what I mean. Not, I mean. That's what I mean. It's, it's not. not these, it's, it's, it's just. It's a bit more watery. That's what it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just. It's just watery and bitter. Mm. Yeah. Like I'm not. I, I wouldn't say, guys. I, I I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't. If you have all of these choices, I would probably wouldn't go with this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Because I, I think the other ones at least have like some kind of like richness to it. Uh, mm -hmm. Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Sorry. Not, not, no offense against anybody. Who's nope. Area. Not at all. We're just saying. I don't know why they. You know. I don't know what's significant about using Mediterranean mm. coffee on on this drink. All right. So we have Cafe Olay. So potentially this should be the lightest one, right? If you're thinking about a Cafe Olay, should be the lightest one of the bunch. Technically it's supposed to be fifty percent sugar, fifty percent coffee, right? Sugar. Is it? Oh, sorry. Milk. Fifty percent milk. Yeah. yeah. Fifty percent sugar. See, the caffeine. Well, already chances my head. are these are fifty percent <laughs> sugar. So let's. Just... <laughs> okay. All right. It looks lighter. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is the more typical canned coffee drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, but it's very creamy. Yeah. This is the most creamy one. Yeah. It's basically all... tastes like tea. I would, I would put oh, it think... over there on the second one. Oh, you like the yes. second? Yes. Um, there is this I milk like tea that one. I really like. The royal milk tea. Royal the, milk the, the, with yeah, the blue yeah. packaging. Oh, it's yeah. very similar to this. Although this is supposed to be coffee and the other is tea. Right. It's okay, well, yeah, now yeah. we're done with Ken bosses. Mm -hmm. How are we doing in terms of sugar level? Okay, yeah, cool. We're okay. good. We're let's still do, good. Let's do hydration level. <laughs> hydration level. <laughs> hydration level. That's a quick hydration. <laughs> hydration time. It's okay, the re restroom's within reach. Yes. Don't worry. <laughs> the line for the restroom. Yeah, we're going to be fighting for the restroom now. Mmm. Delicious. Keep going. 10 cool. out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Water is the best drink for you guys. Uh, both of these are latte. I know these are latte. This is an iced vanilla latte. Mm. This is a just normal latte. This is, I, this is latte with less sugar. Very nice package. Okay. I know, right? You it's like it? super nice. All right, let's just start with the normal one. Okay. Let's just start with the normal. Uh, like uh, It's called pocket latte. I guess it's because it was supposed to be pocketable. But, you know, you this, can put it in your pocket. This obviously, well, no, I guess it does have a cap. So you can really put it in, a cup, in right. your pocket, whereas the canned ones doesn't. Ah, I see. You, you, you got to check I'm, that. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. All right, let's, I guess you could just it's, try it. It's all the caffeine. Let's yeah. try to let's see it. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there, guys. I know, I know caffeine starts kicking in at this point. <laughs> the, the, what? The, I don't know. The, the color seems a little weird to, to me. Out of the other ones, like this color it's almost like, seems grayish. It's like musky. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. It looks it's like you have like all those weaker. big mm. sugar too. Like that kind of sweet. It doesn't have a lot of coffee taste. Mm. Uh, it tastes more like milk, right? It just feels like sweet milk. Sweet mm. milk, yeah. With a little bit of... It's a coffee flavored milk. Like coffee yeah, so I think I think water. definitely if you want like a a, a, a more coffee like taste, uh, the canned ones are better. Hey, we haven't gotten through the rest. But less sugar, okay. so there's still hope yet. So on the packaging, it also says that this uses rich milk, mm. rich milk. Okay, I suppose poor milk. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah, that's not sweet at all. This okay. Passed. You know what? Actually, it's I, not bad. The milk. No, no, no. <laughs> I think by not sweet, they just they, they just mean it doesn't mean more coffee flavor. It just means not sweet. Not sweet. Mm. So these not sweet. bottle ones have a weird smell to me. It does. Yeah, both of them. I don't know. Is it just me? It's oh, it's got um a bit of like um artificial. Maybe because it's in a plastic bottle somehow. I have no idea. But yeah. so far, I think the can ones are definitely the better choice to go here. Um, yeah, so if cool. you guys want, you know, if well, you guys this are... one looks promising by the color. Yeah, uh, iced vanilla Crap. latte. And this is a seasonal limited blend. Mm -hmm. uh, seasonal limited product. Um, uh, I usually fall for these kind of things. You know, like when you see like all oh, seasonal limited. They call it yeah. Kikan Kente. You want to give it a try, otherwise, yeah. you know, you miss out. On Just so like your Kesha is... addiction. Kesha is not... That's not... That's different. It is seasonal. It is seasonal, but so is all it's coffee. Not wrong. So is all coffee, right? All coffee beans are technically different, but I mean, I'm saying like bottle drink. When we talk about certain products, you know how they come out, they go like this for a limited time only, mm. and you just fall for that. You're like, oh, limited time only. 
Alex is trying that means, to... That means they do really good marketing. No, in Japan, they have a lot of uh, snacks and drinks, that mm. they, and they put that on there. Mm. They're saying that it's like a special, unique version of it. Is it actually special and unique, mm. or you see it in it the is. supermarket? Well, you see them like... back probably once every year. I smell uh, the almost. vanilla. Oh, yeah. Mm. It smells better than it tastes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's again kind of watery. Is this? Thicker. Is this with vanilla? With vanilla. Literally, yeah. it 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 tastes still the same like you know artificial sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just not and good. smells. Okay, smells all right. So from all the bosses that we have had, I don't think any we don't no. like these. No, okay. we do none of the bosses. So we, let's leave some on the table so this way we kind of choose between like the better ones. I think those three. Up those three. Yeah. Yeah, I think these three are good. I appreciate you keeping the, the portions of the coffee small. It's all about this. A portion of the water <laughs> large. <laughs> and portion of the water large. All right, next up we have mm. UCCs. Now, I'm like sure you, you guys have seen this. Yeah, Not UFC. Not UFC. <laughs> UCC, please. Okay. UC what? UC. Let's see. Okay. I think these two, a lot of American supermarkets sell these. Okay. I've seen that before. You've seen these, right? Yes. I've seen so, that one. Not, not yeah, so just UCC coffee. Uh, these are almost like I, I feel like on like some road trips. These are like the go-to mm. go-to coffee drinks. Mm. Um, just that in this market, I also found there is a Blue Mountain Mocha, mm. Blue Mountain and Mocha. So, so I'm the bottles look yeah. so cute. I don't know, this, this, yeah, this is cute. We have a cafe latte, and also we, we're gonna try another black. Okay. We'll just see if this is any stronger than the boss. Right, and okay. then we have a very unique one. This is called banana latte. I'm gonna say that, say that for last. This, oh, okay. is, this is almost almost like a dessert. Okay, so let's just try with um, the comfortable stuff. So first of all, I never had this. Like these two is, is more common. I never had these two together. I don't know side if by side comparison. Yeah, yeah, side, yeah. I don't know if there's a Kona blend with like normal one. If there's any difference in mm. the taste, but today is as good as any day to find out. Yep, and also we'll find out if. Uh... Oh, this one's so light in color. Wow. We'll find out if the bottled one tastes any better. Yeah. yeah. Find out. Oh, so light. Mmm. Mm, smells good though. This is right. This is definitely again more of a typical can or bottled coffee drink. Yes. It's not. It's definitely made to be more appealing to all drinkers. It's not just for. I don't think any of these are really trying to appeal to like coffee coffee drinkers. Maybe the just the black ones. Even well, the we'll last black ones was like super light. But what I mean is True. like. Right, but like for people, yeah, that one's quite sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is what I. This is based on what I remember too. Mm -hmm. And the Kona blend is darker, mm -hmm. right? It's got a little bit less milk as far as the color is concerned. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if there's any darker. Yeah, this is darker. Oh, right? oh, I like that one. It's got like a richer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. It's like a really Coffee's good iced good. coffee with yeah. milk. Sweetness is good. So you like that mm -hmm. one? Not Do you like this more than those? Um, mm. I would compare it side by side again. With, okay, great. With okay, the, so uh, I'm gonna put this one up front. All right, so this is a black coffee. It says all natural, on sweetened black coffee. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's from Kobe, and it doesn't really say much on the bottle. Mm. That's a satisfying open. Mm. Okay. I will call this one more black coffee than the boss one. Absolutely. For sure. Darker. It's not that bad. It's not terrible. It's not no. terrible. It's bitter. It's, it's bitter, but it's, it's bitter. It's, it's, it's not terrible. It's no. okay. So like, doesn't really have like a real black coffee like the the notes and like I guess the level of of complexity. Yeah. It's just bitter. Mm -hmm. But, but if, you, if somebody is looking is, for something without milk, right. yeah. This versus because it does have more body compared to boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a little bit more, and yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely flavor. less um, watery. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Blue Mountain and Mocha. Wait a second. Oh. Does it have no milk in it? Ooh. Interesting. Okay. So it's supposed to have chocolate flavor then. I guess so. So yeah. So I know that a lot of company likes to use like Blue Mountain as like almost like a like advertisement, almost like a marketing term because is that a coffee region? Yeah, it's supposed to be a premium coffee. And a lot of people okay. know Blue Mountain as like a premium coffee. Hmm. And I think uh, this probably does use Blue Mountain coffee. I'm not saying that it, it, it doesn't. I'm just just saying that a lot of them like to advertise it because for a lot of the average for people that doesn't really know coffee, they might actually know Blue Blue Mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. I was expecting that to be a latte because it's a yeah. mocha, right? Me too. But I guess chocolate flavored black coffee. Can't really smell the chocolate. So it's also not sweet. Really taste the chocolate either. This one is very bitter, that's for sure. This one's more okay. bitter. This one is actually better than this one. 
Really? I feel like it's got more complexity. To more it. complexity. I was thinking about that too. Yeah, but I don't know where the mocha is coming from. All right, so I think I kind of looked it up. I think that it doesn't actually mean uh, mocha, I think like the mocha latte. Mm -hmm. It means it actually says it used 51% of Blue Mountain beans and then 49% of this other uh, bean. Oh. So I think mocha is a type of bean. It might be a region or, or something. Yep. You know, if anybody uh, familiar, I guess you can let me know, but I've never heard of it. Yeah, but it's supposed to be just black coffee uh, with two different beans. So that's not too bad for black coffee. That's not horrible. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go for the sweet stuff. Okay. So this is cafe latte, rich and creamy. I don't know, it says cafe latte, but on the bottom it just says coffee with milk. So... Maybe the name of the... Well, is technically latte. that means coffee and milk. Oh, this is another, like, a musky looking one. Ooh. Yeah, I wonder out of all of these sips, do we have like a whole bottle worth of coffee? One of the small ones. Oh, I like it. I like that a lot. Ooh. It's just like the. It's Olay. very rich and very creamy. Yeah. <laughs> just like when it's just like the it bottle. says, rich and creamy. <laughs> it's not bad. Right, but before I say I really want to like this, let's go with the uh, banana latte. Ooh. Uh, rich yeah. and creamy and banana -ry. I really like the um, Korean banana milk, so I wonder oh, really? if it's going to have some kind of banana flavor. Hey, if this tastes good, maybe we can try to replicate it. <laughs> I don't know how. Banana puree? Uh, no, because then it's... Yeah, unless uh, you, you want to strain it. I think you would need to do like one of those gastronomy, just trying to get the Ooh. extract Well, of the you know, I am ma like making more baby food with bananas, so maybe we can try some of that stuff. Eh, oh, wow, look at that. We're getting so crazy that we start Ooh. cheering Ooh. with this. Ooh. <laughs> oh wow, you started here already. Banana yeah. milk <laughs> needs coffee. Wow, okay. Right? This is so right? interesting. Right? Okay, you guys got to try so, this. So, okay, so it's the flavor, uh, the best way to, ex to explain that flavor is that it's um it's like banana candy, mm -hmm. right? When you have those like banana, uh, like gummy candy or whatever yeah, it is, yeah. it's got that kind of banana taste to it, but it definitely tastes good. Yeah. Once again, I wouldn't say this is a coffee. I want to say this is a banana soft drink, it right? It has a little coffee after taste. Yeah, it definitely beats. Like, you thought this yeah. was good, and then that one's better. Oh, it's yeah, different. This is good. Also, this is very unique. Okay, so cool packaging. so out of the UCC ones, um, yeah. did you? Um, right, right. We keep yes. that one. That's that, that's fair. Rachel, Cafe, Cafe, Cafe latte. You yeah. want to keep this one? Yeah. yeah, yeah that guys? good. All right, that cool. That really good, and maybe one of the back ones. Then if that if that's the case, then let's leave this one. Yeah. We don't have much to go. How are we doing? Right. Checking in on heart rates. Still alive? <laughs> we're, we're, we're still kicking. Still kicking? I mean, just supposed to be kicking. So how much are you kicking? <laughs> Next, all right, we have these three. Now, it's not really from the same company because uh, the UCC and Boss is definitely the more common one mm -hmm. uh, out of the ones you see in the markets. These doesn't have as much of variety. So, for, for example, Georgia have like a line of coffee. Uh, they've got a couple of coffee drinks or whatever, and this is like a common one that you also see. This is just like coffee with milk, right? Classic, mm -hmm. original, right? And these two are from Poca, mm -hmm. Poca, and Sapporo. Uh, we know Sapporo yes, because yes. of the beer. Basically, this is another black coffee. Mm. So let's see if this is any better than you know the ones. It's funny. It actually looks like a top from the beer. Can. You want like a beer? Can. Yeah. And does. then this is just coffee with milk. So okay. like okay. So let's just start with the Georgia. 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 All right. So like I said, the Georgia is just says you know coffee, coffee. Uh, the original uh, drink. I guess this is like their classic okay. drink. Very dark in color. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Ooh, this has got like a very good coffee candy taste, mm. right? Like this is the, the most, yeah, like does. very similar to a coffee candy. It's almost as if there's caramel in there. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say, yeah. yeah it's actually that, good. It's got that like sweet caramel. Mm. It tastes like Copico candy, if anybody knows. Right, right, mm. I was gonna mention that, yeah, the, the Copico candy. Okay, so this is actually not bad for, so for, mm. for mm. the coffee ones. I wonder if we were to like compare these, it, it, it would be if it would be any better. But this yeah. is actually pretty good. You know, I, it's better I than the always, Kona. Uh, like I never really liked the packaging, so I never yeah. went. Mm -hmm. and, and I always seen though. Yeah. But I never actually tried to buy one. But you see, it's good. Yeah, yeah. that's oh. why I want to do this Glad video. Glad we're doing this, <laughs> right? Yes, we don't really, you know, like I, I wouldn't go for this. No. Like if you're buying one drink out of you know the lineup, I usually go with Boss mm -hmm. because that's what I'm familiar with and yeah. it's almost nostalgic to a point, mm. right? Glad that we tried this. Yeah. You want to do black or you want to do? Let's do the black one first. You do black, black one. And then mm. palette cleanser. I mean, I like this. This is cute. It's like Look a cute you. little bottle, right? You almost suggest, yeah, right? It's kind of smaller than. Yeah, it's, I think it's kind of like less volume. 
Let's see. Yeah, so it's slightly less volume. So it's almost just that it's more potent, right? It's like a stronger. I really like these aluminum bottles. They're, you do? Yeah, yeah, of course. They're also eco friendly. Yeah. Aluminum is better than plastic. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, it's got like an interesting opening. It's got like a large opening to it. A, a very wide. Mm. Yeah, it's got like a wide mouth opening. Well, I mean, you I should have expected it. I just yeah. I don't know why I was expecting a smaller opening than the uh, than what it looks. All right. Oh. Okay. It's got a different. Very, very strong. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like a different um, complexity than the UCC one. But there's no aftertaste. It's a little bit, there is. Yeah. Hmm. It punches you in the face, but then it goes away really yeah, quickly. Yeah, it goes away really <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just goes into water Com right after that. Compared to the Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain, it lingers more. Yeah, I think yeah. the Blue Mountain one definitely needs to have. Like, out of the black ones, uh, the, the worst one, one is, the, is the boss. Mm -hmm. That's just straight up water, right? It's just straight up mm -hmm. dirt water. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. But. <laughs> Uh, I would say probably so far the UCC. If you want just like black coffee without anything else, um, I guess the UCC ones. Yeah. Uh, the blue, blue mountain and mocha is the good one. All right, next uh, let's go with aromatic premium gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Polka Sapporo. Aroma. It's aromax. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Also, I just want to add this would be great for camping. It's true. Camping, just just. If you don't trip. feel like boring your own coffee, uh, you know, bringing these, I think, will be good. Just have in the morning. Oh, and by the way, for you guys, anything that comes in an aluminum bottle, a lot of Japanese markets do sell these as hot. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the Japanese market, you'll find like, a, especially during the winter, you'll find a a, a hot case. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's like a steaming case, and the ones that's in aluminum, they usually leave in those cases. Very and that's one of the reasons why it's made out of aluminum, so that you know you can get warmed up. So you can have these both as hot and iced, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes. Uh, having them hot is better. Mm, okay. Yeah, because when you have them hot, it, there's less of that. It's almost like this less of the artificial taste. It does make it a, a, a nicer, a more a comforting cup mm, of uh, co coffee. Right, of course. Yeah. Cool. Again, this is just premium gold uh, coffee with milk. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, the Georgia one is better. Georgia one is better. Georgia one is definitely better. Kind of um, the artificial sweetness is in here. Mm -hmm. Very prominently. Yes. Yeah. But then the coffee, there's not much of coffee flavor. It's mostly just water. Yeah. It's a little weird. So I say, I think, you know, it seems like we like this. Oh. And both of these are just okay, right? Because we were supposed yeah. we to say a black coffee, I would say go with that one. Yeah, that one's much better. Right. Okay, so let's remove these. One. Once again, let's check in. How's our pulses? It's going really fast. Is it? I don't no, know. I'm just kidding. Just normal. <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, right now I would say like after I don't know how many we have had. We have tried twenty so far. It kind of just feels like when you have like two cups of black coffee, right? Like how how, maybe, how you feel? Maybe even less. A little bit less. Yeah. Like um, it's sort of like you're not like way sugared out, but not that you jittery. do you do feel a little bit, right? You feel a little bit of sugar, like we had. Yeah. Right? Ready. Ready for more. Ready for more. Okay. Next up, there are two types of sangria. Not, not sangria. The brand is called sangria. Well, once again, these doesn't have as much variety, but these are also very common. Uh, this one I've only noticed like recently. But anyway, so we have just normal milk with coffee. It's strictly selected farm-grown coffee bean. That's that's basically what it says. It's got like a, a cute cow. I know. Uh, I would say, you know, since I was talking about this, let's start with this. So once again, you see the like... The cute cow. Yeah, the cute cow. They almost look like it's got kind of trampled on by other cows. <laughs> but it's actually coffee bean. So this is just made milk and coffee. Uh, it's definitely got a larger bottle, mm -hmm. right? So... I mean, what is it? Two servings? Three servings in there? Uh, two. Okay. Two servings in there and it's uh, it's about 500 milliliters. Okay. So it's almost like three times bigger than the uh, the canned ones. Yeah, it is. Usually the canned ones, the, like the smaller canned ones, are the stronger coffees, you know, as far as the advertisement is concerned. The larger ones is almost like having a milk tea where you can just have like more of, right? Mm. Like even th even though, even though uh, a lot of, you know, like we just saw, a lot of the, even the smaller canned ones aren't exactly strong and rich, right? So. True. This is just straight up sweet. Yeah, that's the first thing you, you taste, just it's sugar. Too sweet, sweet milk. Too sweet, too sweet milk. Opinion. I almost feel like kids can have these. <laughs> kids would like these. Yeah, let's not, yeah kids would like these, right? Mm. Uh, but it's, it's that, 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 that That's how they, you know, how you started. Yeah, that's how you... <laughs> but um, it's, yeah, it's not really, uh, yeah, it doesn't really, like, I guess it doesn't really... You, you can't really get your coffee fix from this, mm. no. right? It's, it's definitely more no. sweeter. This is another one that looks sweeter. Is this says donut? No, it says dotor. 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 Oh. It's cafe au lait. Oh, so this okay. is dotor cafe au lait. Mm. Yeah, cool packaging. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I know I've seen like another salted caramel version of this. Mm. Uh, I didn't see uh, at the market, but there are a salted caramel version of this with like a blue blue label bottle, I think. It reminds me of a like, Dunkin' Donut. Yeah, it mm. does. Do you know if any of these uh, brands are available to purchase online? So I know some of them are available on Amazon. On Amazon, mm. okay, but everyone has it. No, Japanese I mean, to be honest with you, store. yeah, I know, but for, I honestly, the recent years, even at the same store, I did not see this much variety. Mm -hmm. It's just recently that all of a sudden I see them stuck with all of these varieties. Usually you get like two or three types of boss coffee. And then, you know, you don't get like the rest that we have tried today. So honestly, your experience might vary based on your local Japanese market. Right. For a lot of places in New York, at least, uh, in the city as well as uh, in the boroughs, a lot of Japanese markets start to carry more variety. So, cheers. That one tastes not bad. Not too exciting either. It's not too exciting. It, it, I, I if mean, I were to get it, I wouldn't be mad. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it doesn't really excite me to the point where I, I want to have it again. No, I feel like I feel like it's almost like the bigger mm. bottles ones aren't exactly. I mean, as far as like us coming from like like very very yes. ground coffee lattes at home, bigger yeah. bottle ones hits. That's true, but that's just a <laughs> banana milk. <laughs> It is dessert. Yeah, but like if you want just coffee or milk, I think these doesn't really hit the spot. No, but th that's actually not bad though. The yeah, it's, This it's, is better it's, than this. Better than the it's better than the other one. one. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. There are hopes still. We have two lattes here, and mm. this is a one with a uh, less sugar and one with a normal amount of sugar. Mm. Let's just mm. start with the sugar one. Sangria makes really nice milk teas as well. I like that yeah. brand. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's, exactly, that's exactly the brand, the, yeah. the royal milk. Oh, is it? Yep. Yeah, it's this brand. There you yep. go. And this one opens to a smaller... It makes for a better pour. <laughs> mm. Not bad. Mm. Not yeah. bad. This one's not too sweet, but it still has good flavor. Yeah. Good right. aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not... Good. It's not the best one that we've had. No. But if if this option is available, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad. Not at all. Right? Like if this is the only thing available at the market, yep. um, I probably wouldn't be upset. Yeah, a good coffee flavor as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So next we're gonna go with the uh, less sugar. Okay. Oh, all right. This one was not sweet at all. So. Well, let's see how much less lesser <laughs> how much lesser sweet this one is. All right. I'm gonna bring some of these to work tomorrow. I don't know how, how I can finish this. Hmm. Wait, what does this one taste sweeter? This one has, it tastes to me again like artificial sugar. Yeah, yeah. Compared with the other one. Yeah, it's got that uh, like that equal yes, kind of taste, like a right? Sugar substitute. Wait, but this one says less sugar, but yet this they, maybe it tastes maybe almost the same. Maybe it's substitute. less real sugar. Oh, that's true. That's usually just like Diet Coke. Well, so out of like the four of these, do you want to keep any of these on the table, or are you still happy with those? With those? Because I mean, eventually we need to eliminate them anyway. But yeah. do you think any of these are like worthy to stand with those? These two were quite okay, mm. but I wouldn't no, right? necessarily say that they are. So I mean, none of us are gonna choose any of these as our, as our winner anyway, as our like favorite. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so let's move these out. Hydration sure. time. Hang in there. Good. Okay, so okay. this looks so nice. Um, all right, so these two I actually have had these before. Mm -hmm. okay. This is actually supposed to be from a cafe again in Kobe, but based on the bottle, it's uh, established in 1933. I could be wrong, but I believe it's pronounced uh, Kukuto. If I'm if I'm reading based on the Chinese character, it means like Upper Island. I don't see a lot of stores have these, but I have actually found two, so far two stores that actually have this. Okay. This is just normal coffee with milk. And this is brown sugar coffee. Ooh. Mm. So it's almost like a, a, a almost like a brown sugar macchiato sort of situation. Let's start with this one first. Right. I'm pretty sure you never had it side to side like this. No. So. No. You, normally you you know you buy one bottle and that's that. You feel like having it mm. for the day. Ooh. It looks thick. Cheers. Right. Mm. Right. Very creamy. I'm pretty sure we can the, get rid of the rich and creamy that we have over yeah, there right? and replace it with well, this right, one. Because this, I, okay, so what I really like about um, mm. this bottle drink is that the even the milk tastes richer. Yes, absolutely. Right? Um, it's almost as if it's cream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I would say it definitely tastes um, almost like it's cream. Mm. With this particular uh, bottle, I mean, it, 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 it does say it's very, why well, is it precious, but uh, it also says it's actually quite sweet and like rich. Mm. So, I guess. The oh description is cool. Okay, so now the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. So just imagine, right? So that was normal. Yeah. And just imagine how how the brown sugar is gonna taste, mm. which is quite brown good. Brown sugar is also really popular nowadays. Yeah, uh, like okay. bubble brown sugar bubble tea, brown sugar ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. So it's, oh, it's almost like the the, the new mm. salted caramel. 
Yeah. I mean, so, Salted Caramel is still popular. Right? I was never a fan of Salted Caramel. But every dessert shop and every like specialty flavor stuff started to put Salted Caramel. So the Caramel candy, so the Salted Caramel mm. drinks, yeah. right? Salted Caramel ice cream. Whoa. Ooh, it smells very good too. Well, I haven't tasted it yet. So? Mm. This is something wow. that you order right? in, a, in a shop. Wow. It tastes so fresh. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is really <laughs> good, right? Gordon Ramsay meme. Right? <laughs> it's a Gordon Ramsay meme. So? That's a winner. That's a winner. <laughs> Honestly, when I first had these, I was like, if yeah. you... I guess it depends on, depending on your mood. Like, if you want something a bit more coffee tasting, like bitter, uh, like not so, not so sugary, you yeah. might not go for these. Would you say it would be fair to leave both of these on here? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I think we can take off the cream and the... So, do we agree to take off the rich and creamy? Yeah. Okay, so let's take out the rich and creamy. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. So we just had these. Okay, is there any of those ones that you want to revisit before you choose your favorite? All of them? Well, mm -hmm. except for the last two we just tried. You know, I would go back to the premium one because it was one sure. of my favorite. And maybe sure. the Cafe Ole. Yeah, let's premium just, and Ole. So let's just try the premium one again. Mm -hmm. Now that we still have the aftertaste from the really creamy yeah. brown sugar one. So now coming back to this. Wow, they just taste much so, more bitter. <laughs> right, so coming back to this, this is definitely a, a bit more, I think the best way I can describe it is more adult. Yeah. More coffee. It's more adult. Heavy. Yeah. More so big. basically you would you, give you this taste... you'll give this to a kid and they'll be like, oh, this is bitter. Yeah. Right? Yes. But you will give this to a kid, they will be like, this is delicious, it, this is sweet. It's a dessert. It's, it's just like a chocolate milk would be. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like that kind of equivalent. Yes. Yeah. So let's say cafe au lait, right? I mean, none of these are like unenjoyable. Mm -hmm. Right? I would say, uh, as a soft drink, these are all pretty good. Coffee Ole is mm. good. It's nice. It's basically this, but uh, slightly, less. slightly less creamier. Yeah. I, I would say this This is more of maybe with, like coffee with cream and this would be coffee with milk. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? That's mm -hmm. how I see it, yeah. You want to try the golden time again? Uh, Let's give it a try. Okay. No, I, I forgot what it tastes like, to be honest. Yeah, we can take that off. You want to take it, it off? Because, because it tastes very similar to Premium Boss. But slightly less sugar, slightly less coffee. Mm -hmm. It just tastes kind of generic, I would say. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty fair to say this. If you want black coffee, this is probably the best one. Absolutely. You want to try anything else again before we cast our vote? Because I, I have a pretty good idea. I think I have a good idea too. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty good. First of all, I guess uh, let's just say just something that if you see in the store, you definitely get. One, yeah. two, three. Yeah. <laughs> you, I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. Put it here. Oh, so we have two votes for. So let's. I mean, so we like those two. Yes. You know what? I agree. Mm -hmm. I would pick between those two. Mm -hmm. So right. Like this one is definitely more coffee. Mm -hmm. This one more of a dessert. Yeah. In that sense. Right. Yeah. Any reason why we didn't choose banana? Just because when. Well, actually, you. you it's it's not very one. common flavor that you want in coffee. Yeah. It's it's a unique thing, just like to taste and give it a right. try. Maybe occasionally you want to, you know, have something different. Then yeah. It's yeah. definitely something you should try, but mm -hmm. it might not be something you will go back to over and over. Fair point. So mm -hmm. basically, it's not. It doesn't make a classic, right? It's but it's it's tasty. Then again. Just because we picked these two doesn't mean these, you know, we wouldn't get the rest. Like, yeah, you know what? These are all good. These are all my, good. In our after trying it for the second time, I mean, I, I know I, I chose this one, but after trying for the second time, right? After going around the full circle, coming back to this, it's not as rich as you thought it was the first time you tried it. Right, because mm. I thought this it was is quite a, a, creamy. Yeah, this was a lot more creamier now. Yes. Yeah. Right? I mean, the, the whole reason why I chose Premium Boss is because we are judging coffee. Yeah. And from our perspective of people who brew coffee on mm -hmm. a daily basis, that one resonates the most with what we drink right. on a daily true, basis. True, true. Yeah, basically, yeah. So I, so I do agree as far as, you know, from that aspect that yeah. if you want uh, a more coffee tasting coffee, mm -hmm. this one is definitely, you know, it could could, could be a go-to one for you. Um, if you actually happen to find this in, in your market, I mean, it does say it does use two times finer and then 1.2 times more. Fun fact, I actually wanted to ex exclude it in the beginning because of oh, the did? packaging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. So, don't yeah, no, the because we, we, Yeah, so, so what, what Diana's talking about is that when we were first choosing amongst these coffees, we thought there was too much coffee that we wouldn't be able to taste all of it without going crazy <laughs> towards yeah, the end. So alive. she wanted, yeah, so she wanted to take this out because she didn't like the, how I the like packaging it. looks. But as it turns out, you know, if you guys see this... This was my favorite. Yeah, it's not the prettiest packaging, I think, but it's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah. You know, speaking of packaging, just like, you know, how we thought about the Georgia one, we, True. we would never think yeah, that... It would be, it would be in the be, final. It would, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, But then it's actually... It was it's actually really pretty good. good. Well, you know, hopefully it was an interesting episode for you guys. 
Uh, definitely something a little bit different for us to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and interesting uh, for us. Yeah, it gave us an excuse to try all of these sugary drinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we definitely need to drink water for the rest of the day just to wash it out of the <laughs> system. Sure. But anyways, in case if you guys are traveling, uh, either if you're trying to to Japan or if you are, you know, if you have a Japanese mart near you or if you see these drinks in your local market, mm. uh, definitely give them a shot, right? It's, mm -hmm. you know, yes. it's for those days where you want something sweet, something a bit more decadent. If you mm -hmm. want something a bit yes. more dessert-like, you could definitely give these a try. And the, you know, Japanese makes some very, 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 very interesting coffee drinks. Yeah. So with that said, hopefully, once again, you like this episode. If you uh, have not subscribed yet, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> And of course, hit the like button if you like this. Share this episode with your friends. Thanks for tuning in. And please take care. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye.